you all say, you all give advice, you all say all these kind of, even right now, that's what you're doing. And so where do you think we need to start changing on that mentality? Because is the answer lies abroad with the coach or where, does, where, where can we make that tweak? First, I just need to mention this. When we spoke to Dev at the end of the 96 World Cup and we wanted him to be part of some of these celebrations and he said, no, it's you guys who did the job. A coach is as good as his players. Mm -hmm. So the players do have a responsibility. If you keep changing coaches, it's not going to help the system. It's not going to help the players. There was a time, from my point of view again, we had to depend on foreign coaches. But now, my personal view is that we can move away. We do have the people. We need to make them accountable and get them to have a professional approach. And also, we should work on not letting our people who have excelled, who have done well, can be as a player, can be as a coach, going overseas. Mm -hmm working for for other countries we need to make an effort to to keep them so to do that i think we need to move away from this mindset if you're a sri lankan you need to pay an x amount if you're a foreigner that's what it is no it is a job that will decide what the remuneration is going to be and irrespective of whether it's a foreigner or a local if that is the going rate in the sport, you have to make that payment. Because in Sri Lanka, I know my dear friend Chandika Hathurasinghe was here. Everyone was talking about what he was getting. I don't know what negotiations they had. That's personal, right? Then if they have agreed, so that means yeah. that's what is worth. I'm sure they must be paying something pretty much similar to the current coach. So remuneration also plays a huge part. Um, it should not be the factor for someone to select the job. You have to have the passion, you have to have the knowledge, you have to have a vision and the drive to, to coach a team. But also yeah. for them, it's they need to be, be, be comfortable if they know that they are, they are worth much more if they go and work outside, yes. And the other thing is, they should not, when I say the administrators, should never interfere in the role of a coach. You have to make the coach accountable. What happens is, why we are looking at a foreign coach is when we have a foreign coach, we feel that um, the amount of interference will be minimum. Mm. You get one of our own guys, Sri Lanka is a small place, I know when they got to know that we are part of a committee that has been appointed by the, the minister to see how we can suggest some improvements uh, for, for cricket, people started to approach me who have been involved in different um, Sectors. Sectors of, of, of the game can be umpires, referees, um, you know, cricketers mm -hmm. from different um, clubs, schools. So, people who are going to be selected also have to be strong and be firm and they should be able to walk the talk. I feel in, in, in life, people should walk the talk. Sadly, we don't see in this country, even at the topmost level, yes. people walking the talk. So, a coach will, will command that respect if he can be firm and then if he can be accountable. So, changing coaches are also not the solution, but finding the right coach right. and giving him that authority and giving him that confidence. So, it's a combined um, effort and currently everyone will uh, you know everyone is talking about the coach of the national team but we need to look at all the other coaches as well we need to get qualified good coaches to come and handle all all the teams starting from the under 19 team i think we've been able to now 
identify people but it's just a matter of putting these structures in place but once you put the structures don't interfere if you have a have a issue then call for explanation and see whether that's valid if it's not then you can make suggestions but otherwise how can you make somebody accountable if you force him to do certain things that you feel that's right so there has to be a synergy between the coaches the administrators the selectors i think that is where we lack like.